hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm here i'm playing horse isle 3 i've been playing this game for two days and i really really like it uh, this is my character her name is white walker and the horse i'm riding is atkins gold and he's the fjord horse that i caught yesterday and i'm quite proud that i caught a fjord horse i've never seen anyone riding a fjord horse in this game uh, but I've been only playing for two days, so I haven't seen any, everything just yet. Um, and uh, yeah, so today uh, my my thoughts was that I was going to show you all the horses I have at the moment. I have three horses, and what their personalities are, and what they like to do, and and what color they are, and what breed they are, and how I caught them. So, uh, we're starting with um, Atkins Gold. Uh, he is, as I said, a fjord horse, as you can see on the mane, and on the ale going on the back, and the tail. And as you can see on his legs, he has some tiger, tiger uh, markings, uh, tiger markings on the legs, and that is very common on fjord horses. Um, because fjord horses are actually cousins to the Przewalski horse that is in Mongolia. And the Przewalski horse is, you could say, the ancestor to both Icelandic horses and the fjord horses. And um, I, so, so I, I was really surprised when I caught this fjord horse actually in Horse Isle 3. And I, I have never played Horse Isle before. Uh, never the, the earliest versions either um, but anyway Atkins Gold and I have a Western saddle on and a Western bridle and a, and a Western pad um, I haven't made them myself I bought them because it was very hard um, for me to build my own workshop and before I have my own workshop I kind of need to have the woods and everything that comes with it so I have been waiting a um, little bit to to get to, to those uh, things to build my own stuff. But um, okay, let's go into profile on Atkins Gold. Um, so this is him, and as you can see, he looks like this, and I I really really like him. He's so so cute. Um, so this is what it says he is um it says that it's a great european hot blood but his colors tells me something else that he's not a a hot blood he's more of a cold blood breed um and scandinavian breed really uh norwegian breed and he is a stallion and he's five and three five years and three months old and his life cycle is natural don't know what that means uh we have bonded a little bit this is the 27 points and he has experience uh, 70 uh, points of experience he's a non-competitor and selling i'm i don't really want to sell him because he is a fjord horse and i really really like him um so this is um this tells me that he is a little bit hungry but not too much he's thirsty though and the stamina is uh, is very good and he needs to be groomed but i don't own a brush yet so i can't i can't really broom him uh, groom him broom oh my god no uh his mood is very good uh if you want to get your horse's mood up you can just pet them and they will be like okay uh, ancestors. And breed info. So, okay, so here we have the, um, the explanation, the explanation here as to why he, why he is a a um, hot blood um, only three breeds developed in Europe and still extend today can probably be considered hot bloods 
the English thoroughbred and the Andalusian or pura raza espanol and the Spanish barb. A good case can be made to include the Lusitano as well. The antecedents of the Spanish breeds are lost in time, but those of the thoroughbred are well documented. Both types contain a large measure of oriental blood. Of the above, the thoroughbred most resembles the oriental horses, but shows its northern European roots in the fact that it is double coated. Um, the others comes under the heading of Baruch horses, one sees in the stat of European capitalism slim of leg but compact muscular and crusty the Spanish breeds have been bred for a cooperative and agreeable nature but in the main the English thoroughbred has been bred for speed and to a lesser extent yumping talent okay well he's not really quite the the jumping talent trust me history Blood breed per sentence. He doesn't really have a favorite human yet. And he was caught as a wild, so. Um, so this is. Um, what is the scrapbooks? Okay. So that didn't tell me anything. Anyway, so here is the tag training genetics. So I believe that this is what the tags do. Copied statistical system with blood. Don't know what this does, but anyway, here you have performance metrics. So his speed isn't really that fast. His spring boost is plus 49% of this, I guess, and it gets to like 21.5. Um, accelerate, good, I guess, and de decelerate, also good, jump power. He has a good jump power, yes. Uh, pull strength, yeah, not quite much, but stride length, Okay, turning speed uh, takes a little while to to make him go to the sides. Yes, uh, reverse speed, which is when he's backing up, is very slow. And fear tolerance, he is a crybaby when it comes to reverse because whenever I go to reverse, he he bucks me off, and I'm I'm like flying into the ocean, and. It's quite good at this game. It's not really that realistic because the horse, uh, it you know, it disappears when it bucks you off. So, I believe it is that it is running away. And but, I kind of have my horses packed, um, up here. So, they are still in my bag, as you could say. And um, yeah, so um, his stamina drop is uh, quite quite good I believe and reaction time he he reacts in less than a second so this is his personality he is not very brave but he's not very skittish either so he's more to the brave side he's not really that easy going um, he's a little bit more to to stubbornness but he's also he's okay if you if you pursue him um, he's very antisocial, so he doesn't really like to be in in crowded area. And he is a little bit more of a leader, but he's, he can also follow someone else. Ornery, I'm not, I'm, I don't really know what ornery means, but I believe that it means that that the horse is more serious than playful. So he can be playful, but he's also more to the serious side. And he's a little bit energetic, not quite too much. It's easy to handle, so he he has a good good thing going on there. Okay, so while while we were going through the horses, um, the night game. 
Okay, well that's really good because I, w I wanted to show you my other horses, but it's quite... Um... Okay, there we go. So I can actually show you my other horses. Um, so, okay, let's show you the other horses uh, while it's night time. Uh, so we have Fossil, who is a great pleasure horse mare. And I haven't ridden her yet. Uh, she's very new to the to the family, and she's a great pleasure horse. She's a mare. She has 19 points of bonding with me. She's a non-competitor. I don't know why it says would consider selling. I believe it is that this horse is not very good. So she looks like this. I really really like her. Um, I don't really want to sell her just yet because maybe she's a good horse, you know, and um, Her coat is Suti Grulla Chupiano And um, As you can see here her stats are quite similar to to Atkins uh, So I believe she's not really really good but she has fear tolerance so she's a little bit more brave than uh, than Atkins so she's more to the brave side but she's very stubborn and she's she can be antisocial and she can be social she is quite the leader but she can if someone else is win to be the leader someone else can lead her she's okay with that she's more playful She's a little bit more lazy than Atkins, and um, yeah, but she's not that lazy. So let's see, uh, what if we mount her, um, so you can see here, she looks quite good, and I really hope she doesn't buck me up right now, because I don't have tack on, uh, but I really, really like her, and uh, Oh, that was very slow. Oh, I fell off. Mm, put away. So let's go to horses. Okay, so let's go to think of it. So this is quite the horse. Um, she has the best base stats of these horses but she's the most laziest one um, she's a great pleasure horse she's a mare and her her um, her color is Cremello and her speed is a little bit slow she's a little bit slower than the others and her jump power isn't really that good her pull strength isn't really that good either her turning speed is very slow. Reverse speed is quite okay. She's not really that brave and her reaction time is less than a second. So as you can see here, she can be skittish and she can be brave. So I believe she has a fox uh, behind her ears that she's not trustable in any situation really. And she's quite the easygoing and she's really social. She's a follower, so she doesn't want to be a horse that goes alone and she's more ornery uh, so I believe ornery is um, when when they are more um, when they're more serious like they don't play around but as you can see here she's very very lazy very lazy and I'm going to uh, take away the tack of um, of him to see if we can tack her instead. Okay, mount. As you can see, she's very small. Lazy horse slowing. Yeah, I, I quite like her. 
Oh no, we got stuck here. Lazy horse slowing. Let's see if we can jump here. Hey, she jumped. Anyway, so as you can see, she's very lazy. She doesn't want to do the work. And I'm okay with that because I really like her color. I don't really go for uh, horses just based on their aesthetics and, and what they can do and all that. So I really, 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 really like this. So those were all my horses and I really hope that you um, like this video of me showing them. Um, I'm going to see if I can just give a little bit of uh, more light. Okay. Can I just give us some more light maybe? I don't know. There we go. All right, so this was it for this video. Uh, sorry that it became night, but um, I showed you all of my horses and uh, I have been jumping around a little bit as well. Um, anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Oh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, my character's name is White Walker, so I guess that's it. And um, I also play other games, but this was Horse Isle 3, and those were my three horses. And I hope to see you next time. And if you have any suggestions of what you want to see in the game or, or in any other game, uh, just comment down below and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.